dummy variable trap. What is dummy variable trap? For example, you have wages, which is the function of gender. You assume this that in case if you are male, you probably might earn more, and if you are female, you probably earn less. This is on an average, this is true empirically, this is evident. And gender is a qualitative variable, so you'll have to use dummy variables for this. So you have yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 d2t plus ut. Say for example, your male variable is a control group. So wherever the person is male, so instead of male, you'll put 1 there. And in case the person is female, you'll put 0 there. Um, now, you would have run this regression. But supposedly, instead of just one category, see, uh, male, female is, is, is a gender category. Gender is one category. Okay, sorry, gender is a dummy variable. Under this, there are two categories. One is male, another is female. So for one category, you have one variable, one dummy variable here. But supposedly, for both the categories, you would have dummy variable, say, D2 for males and D3 for female. Say, for example, like that. Supposedly, instead of, you should have run the model yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 D2t plus ut. But instead, you run the regression yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 d2t plus beta 3 d3t plus ut. Suppose you run this regression in which you have dummy for both the categories, one for male, another for female. Now what will happen? Uh, I've taken a sample of say six persons here. These are the wages of six person. Beta 1 is constant so uh, you'll put uh, by convention value 1 to it and uh, say first person is uh, is uh, is is female so you'll be putting 0 for male and 1 for female second person is male so you'll put 1 for male and 0 for female and so on now what you'll do is supposedly you put up the new column in which you will add d2t plus d3t so what will you get is 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 so all of these, the, when you add all of them, you'll be getting this column. Now this column is exactly equal to this column. You get the point? This new column is exactly equal to the column of the constants here. So because of this reason, this will lead to a problem of multicollinearity. In fact, a perfect multicollinearity problem will arise in this case. and. Uh, you cannot run the regression here. So this is the problem of, of the dummy variable trap because regression will not be run and you will be, uh, you'll be trapped by this dummy variable because when you have two categories, you have put the dummies for both the categories. Instead, you should have put only one category there. Now, how to avoid this problem? One way is, one way is definitely that you will have just, uh, that, 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 that you should have just one variable one less variable um, for the categories. For example, you have m categories. You should run the regression for m minus 1 categories. You get the point? So one way is this, to avoid the dummy variable trap. And this is what you have done here. Initially, you had just one dummy for one category. Okay? You have not included two dummies for both the categories. Fine? Because for that was one thing now other way is that you remove the constant so i'll just let you know say for example there are three individuals y1 y2 y3 beta 1 will have the value 1 1 1 constants beta 2 supposedly this is one for male and zero for female so this person is female this person is male this person is female now if you add now this column this column is not equal to this column so you can easily run the regression, okay? You can easily run the regression. There is no problem here. So when you have, when you had two categories, male and female, and you run the regression with only one category, you avoided dummy variable trap. Now, supposedly you have three persons, y1, y2, y3. 
and there is no constant here in this model there is no constant here and uh, and uh, this person is is uh, is female so it'll be zero here and one here so d2 is for male d3 is for female okay this person is male and this person is also male so if you pick up the new column this new column which is d2t plus d3t you will have 1 1 and 1 but this is not identical to any other column there is no constant here so it is not identical to any other column so there is no problem of multicollinearity here so here also you will avoid the dummy variable trap so either in case if you have m categories you should run the regression with m minus 1 dummy variables or you should not write the constant you do not write constant okay you should avoid using constant and then also there will be no problem of dummy variable trap so this was dummy variable trap